All right, welcome back. Uh, we're getting new details on a deadly plane crash in Ethiopia. Eight Americans are among the 157 passengers and crew killed when an Ethiopian Airlines plane crashed shortly after taking off from the capital of Addis Ababa. The airline says the plane's pilot reported technical difficulties and asked for clearance to return, but never made it. The plane, a Boeing 737 MAX 8, is the same type involved in a crash in Indonesia last year. Boeing is sending a team to the crash site in Ethiopia and put out a statement which says in part, we extend our heartfelt sympathies to the families and loved ones of the passengers and crew on board and stand ready to support the Ethiopian Airlines team. The United Nations says several of its officials were on the plane and some 35 different nationalities were represented. CNN aviation correspondent Richard Quest is joining us now from London. So Richard, um, should we be concerned that this is the same model of the plane involved in that Indonesia uh, crash of Lion Air last year? Could there be a correlation? Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, the similarity is all there. It's the same plane, <clears throat> both the new model, both brands new. It was the same phase of flight and after the initial takeoff into the early climb mm. at around 7,000 to 9,000 feet. There's the same sort of profile where you suddenly see a dip. Uh, admittedly, with Lion Air, it was more pronounced. You suddenly see a, a change in altitude and the, the plane goes back up again and then stops. Now, these are all similarities and they might mean nothing at all, mm. uh, which is why the investigators really do need to get to this, the bottom of this quite quickly. Um, the, the central... The central allegation is whether or not it is the plane or did something else happen completely unrelated. And we don't know. And that's the, that's the long uh, and short mm -hmm. of it, Federica. Uh, but the, the necessity of determining if there is any correlation is very high. And, and so, Richard, you know, there will be a confluence of investigators. You've got Boeing that will be sending in their team to try and analyze, you know, the plane, what yep. could have happened. You've got Ethiopian, uh, you know, air, um, airline uh, security, investigative, you know, arms who are going to be uh, looking into this. What is likely to happen in terms of the investigation? Who takes the lead in something like this in the next few hours? Oh, this is clear cut. Uh, the, the Ethiopians, uh, mm. the, the play, it, it happened in their airspace. It, well, whoever's mm. airspace it is takes the lead in the investigation. And they will be assisted by, mm. they will be assisted by, well, you've got Boeing, uh -huh. which makes the aircraft. You'll be assisted by whichever is the airline manufacturer, uh, the engine manufacturer. The NTSB will almost, will definitely be accredited, is the phrase. You'll probably get the British CAA who will be accredited. So anybody who's got anything to do with it will be accredited to the investigation. And when but you say that, Ethiopia... anything to do with it because of the relation or the building of the airline? Yeah. No, the airframe. The airframe. It's the, the airframe. airframe. Yeah, mm -hmm. the airline will be accredited as well to the official investigation. Mm -hmm. It will be the Ethiopians who are doing the investigation. Mm -hmm. and, and before anybody casts doubt in that direction, Ethiopia has an exceptional, exceptionally good aviation record. The airline is world class. The investigators mm -hmm. will know exactly what they are doing and they will have the support of the international aviation community where they may need extra expertise. That's mm -hmm. the important thing. But it'd be under no illusion. I mean, they'll get to the bottom quite yeah. quickly of what happened here. Yeah, so it's not just the aircraft, you know, that yep. is going to be examined. But, of course, you know, the pilot, the crew, etc. What will that entail, that kind of investigation? Yeah, they'll be looking at the background. The captain, the pilot in command, had more than 8,000 hours. He was extremely experienced. Um, but it was a new plane. And, you know, you, you, I know I can hear certain viewers probably saying, don't speculate, Richard, don't go there. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is true. But you, your starting point in discussing this has to be what are the mere coincidences? Yeah. Where do you look? Now, as to the Max 3, uh, sorry, the, the Max 8, um, everything I've heard, look, I spoke to one airline CEO who said if it was in his fleet, he'd have no problem continuing to fly it until more information is known. And that's the key here. But they'll find the black boxes they'll find them and they'll find them quickly because of the nature of the crash there'll be no searching in deep seas or anything like that and they'll get a very quick read on what happened i promise you yeah oh it's
uh, these images are um, incredible too because it looks like the debris field is pretty compacted and at least from the images we're seeing uh, you know they're small pieces these are that's, small that's pieces a, that, well, in you know in comparison to what a 737 is right right and that unpleasant to talk about these things but it does give an understanding of what happened that very much suggests uh, putting it crudely the plane fell out the sky uh, at speed um, the complete disintegration of the airframe um, to the point where there are no large pieces of fuselage uh, mm -hmm. remaining that only happens when effectively well, the plane goes into a dive and falls wow. out the sky all right Richard Quest thank you so much appreciate it thank you Severe turbulence injures more than 30 people on a New York-bound flight. The Turkish Airlines plane traveling from Istanbul Saturday when it experienced severe turbulence about 45 minutes from landing at JFK Airport. Authorities say passengers and crew members are among the hurt. Most of the injuries, cuts, bruises, although one person may have broken their leg. Up next.